I'm Darlene and I would like to welcome you to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making easy shortbread cookies. They're going to be great. Yay! So anyway, the ingredients that we need are I have some confectioner sugar, all-purpose flour, cornstarch, and two sticks of butter, and salt. Very easy recipe. And y'all are going to love this. <laughs> Very easy. It's wonderful. Okay, so let us get started. Okay, y'all. Uh, so, I'm going to get my dry ingredients together. We need three-fourths of all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup. flour, the all-purpose, okay, and I have my cornstarch, we're going to put one-fourth cup, I'm going to use that one, fourth cup of cornstarch. Sorry, one fourth teaspoon salt. All right. And I will just stir this up. Put three fourths. I almost messed up. <laughs> Such a simple recipe and I almost messed it up. I looked at this and I thought that's not much. The flour is one and three-fourths cup of flour, okay? <laughs> so do what I did but put more flour. My goodness, I can't believe I did that. I told y'all I mess up. I mess up all the time. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, one and one and three fourths cup flour. I put in the three fourths cup already. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> one. Oops, and I'm noisy. One and three fourths cup of flour. Whew, okay. One fourth cup of cornstarch. One fourth. It's a little bitty teaspoon. One fourth cup teaspoon salt. That's all it is. So sorry, y'all. 
that was that was bad. So yeah, I mess up. You bet you bet I do. <laughs> so y'all don't feel bad about messing up either. It just happens. Okay. One and three fourths cup flour. Corn one fourth cup cornstarch, one fourth teaspoon salt. There we go, finally. Okay. So I'll just stir it up, get it mixed up in real good. <laughs> Y'all can laugh at me. I know. <laughs> it's all right. At least I remembered. I was like, man, that just didn't look like enough flour in there. I was like, no. That was not enough flour. I knew that didn't look like enough flour. So anyway, now we'll get it right. I'm just stirring all that together. Just stirring that together. <laughs> Laugh at myself. Oh my. Okay. So. Just stirring it up. Just get it mixed up. Okay. Set it aside. I'm going to soften my butter just a little bit in the microwave. Not too much. Just a little bit. I have had it sitting out uh, maybe 15-20 minutes. It's softer. But it's not soft enough, so I'm going to stick it in the microwave for just a minute. Not a whole minute, though. Um, 15. 15. Maybe 15 will be good. And we're going to put it in my mixer. in the microwave. Just gonna get all that butter off of there. Get it all in my bowl. Okay. And this one I'm cutting in half. I should have cut it in half first. And that one's not even four, four tablespoons. I've already got it melted. Melting. We don't want to cut right. We won't cut right because I melted it. <laughs> Also, because I don't have my real good knife here, it cuts better. There we go. These are some easy, wonderful cookies. Wonderful. Very tasty. And just very easy to make, so. of sugar into this butter. Three-fourths cup.
forget to do it with the one fourth cup. That way y'all can see it and I know it too. You don't have to just look at a, at a line on my measuring cup. So if I do three of these, y'all know it's three fourths. You know, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Like that. Okay. There we go. Got that. I'm going to use my blender here. To mix this together and get it just kind of get it real fluffy soft and fluffy I need all my butter there so I'm trying to get it off get off as much as I can here Too. It may not take long. I don't think it does. off as much of this as I can. We definitely need our butter and sugar. But you do, you do need to use your mixer thing here if you can, if you have one. get off as much of it as I can. We need it. <laughs> you need it. That's your cookie. <laughs> That's your cookie. That goes on your cookie. Oh. Well, just try to get off what you can. Y'all don't have a little more time than I do, since uh, you don't have anybody waiting on you. <laughs> there you go. I'm slowly getting it. I'm getting it. Nice and fluffy. So beat it on the highest speed that you can do for at least three minutes. You can do it more if you want to, but I think about three minutes does just fine. It gets to about the right consistency that you'll be wanting. Just fluffy, cream together and fluffy. Okay, I got my 
most of it. I got most of it. Okay. Now I'm going to mix our flour into it. Just do it a little at a time. I did about a third of that. are very popular. Yeah. They're just a simple little cookie. Very tasty. I've always liked, liked them. Stirring it and blending it. Oh, that's fluffy. Fluffy butter. And it's definitely getting thicker with the uh, flour being put in. I'll just go ahead and pour the rest of that in there. Not very many ingredients. And it is simple. This is very, very simple. So y'all can do it. Just don't do what I did earlier. <laughs> so you can cook and cook and cook. And bake and bake. And still mess up. So <laughs> I don't know where my mind was. I just forgot it. I know, everybody else does the same mistakes I do, so sometimes things happen, right? I'm just glad I remembered that. I realized it. Okay, I'm just trying to get all that uh, flour kind of incorporate it into the butter, just mixed into it, and just work with it a little bit. It's getting thicker, definitely. See, it's getting thicker. Okay, let me just pick up that bowl. <laughs> flour to get it mixed up now and we're almost done. I don't have to do it a long time but I do have to get that flour mixed in and I still got some on the bottom I can see when I turned it over. Just mix it in and it's getting harder. <laughs> It's thicker. I have a very good strong spoon, big spoon. A lot easier to use than just a regular eating spoon. I purposely grab my big strong spoon because I'm used to things getting uh, thicker and tougher to work with. And you don't want to bend your spoons and stuff like that, so you do need a couple of good tough utensils to work with sometimes when you work with uh, cookies and bars and things that get tougher. Okay. And it's gotten tougher. <laughs> but these are so good. These are very good. Simple but good. Sometimes simplicity is wonderful though, you know? It's getting there. 
You don't have to use a blender or anything for this thing for the rest of this. It was just for the, the butter and sugar. So, and like I say, I'm about done. I just have to get that flour incorporated into it, and then we'll be ready to put it in our pan. Okay, I think I just about got it. Just work with it just a little bit. It's not really that bad. It might build you up some muscles. This, that's the way these cookies are supposed to be. Okay, so I'm going to grease my pan. Oops. Cookies all over the... Is a, about an 8 by 11, 7 and a half by about 11, something like that. I'm going to spray. Spray it. This is like an old-fashioned recipe, so that's kind of why it's done like this. It's very good. I do a lot of old-fashioned recipes. You will see that from one of my videos. I think a lot of the old ones are really good. They're priceless, actually. to make it flattened out, trying to make it smooth on top. And it doesn't really have to be perfect like that. I'm just trying to smooth it out. It just makes it look prettier later. Make 
sure I've got both sides about right, about even. I keep pushing down around the edges like that because when you push down the middle and everything, it kind of tries to go up the sides. So I just keep pushing back down on the sides with my spoon because I don't want the outside going up being, you know, uh, higher up than the middle of it is. So that's why I keep going on the edges and pushing the edges back down. And we are about done. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put this in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. And let it chill up just a little bit. I'm still trying to go upsides. <laughs> I guess I'm pushing it too hard. Uh, anyway, so if y'all do that, that's fine. That's that's what's happening. So I've just got it all put down at the bottom of this. That's all. And they're pretty solid. <laughs> I better turn it upside down. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge for 15 minutes. I'm going to turn my oven on to 350. Oops, make 350 start. Okay, so this will be in the fridge while our oven gets hot. So, I'll be right back, 15 minutes. Okay, y'all. So I had it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. My oven's also ready at 350. And what I'm going to do now, what we call a score, score it. So to me, that's kind of cutting it. Because it is in this, and you don't want one big, huge cookie. <laughs> we want to score it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it into little squares. And, okay, so I'm going to cut it in half. I think. <laughs> okay. Cut it in half. And it depends on how big you want your cookies, but I'll show you this up close. Okay? Because I know y'all can't see it over there. And I'm not cutting perfect. No, I am not. <laughs> But it still tastes good. It says score. I don't really think I'm supposed to cut it all the way through, but I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm going to go ahead and cut mine all the way through. All the way through. I think that would be the best thing. I'm just going ahead and cutting it. All the way through. And then, I'm going to have mine a little, little bit squares, so I'm cutting it in half again. This way. I'll show y'all what I'm doing. And I don't have them quite the same size. I can draw and I can paint, but I can't seem to do a straight line. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? That's crazy. So I cut them, cut them like that. Now I'm going to, I don't know my camera's getting. I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to stab little spots in it, okay?
I will show y'all what I'm doing. You don't have to be perfect with stabbing it. Just do it whatever feels right to you. Okay? I step it and now I'm just going around stabbing it a little bit more. It just gives it a design. That's what I'm doing. But it puts little air pockets in it so that it will cook more even as well. Since it's one big cookie, more or less. It's really good that you cut it. I think it's really good that we cut it all the way through. Okay, I'm going to show you all this. It's, it's sliced into one, two, three, four, five slices, and then three across, and then I stabbed it everywhere with the fork. And I don't think y'all can see this. Change the camera. And I just don't think the camera's showing it. Not quite. Maybe I can do it another way. Let me try. Okay, y'all. I'm looking at the camera up close now. I recut, re-sliced it so y'all could see. And then I had poked it with the fork all over. And I'm thinking maybe this is working a little better for y'all. I hope. So... I stabbed it all over with the fork. I'm thinking this light right here might be good enough that y'all can see it. I hope so. So I'm going to put it in the oven now. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the oven. 350 for 35 minutes. They just need to get lightly golden brown. And I really hope y'all can see that really good. I, I re-sliced mine, so it made it a little bit messy. I didn't get it sliced in the same exact spots. <laughs> Stabbed it with the fork. I'm hoping y'all can see that. So anyway, I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, 35 minutes. Oops. Okay, 35 minutes. I'll be back in 35 minutes. is there just a pinch and then the inside is just a real light nice nice brown nice golden brown so I'm gonna let it cool I'm gonna put it on something to cool Oops. so I should have this out I'm going to put it on here and let it sit here and cool on my rack for 10 minutes and then we will cut come back and slice it up some more okay they're getting it there we go see I just got it sitting on my rack I'll let it sit there just let it cool for 
for 10 minutes. Yay! <laughs> Be back! Okay, y'all, so now it has been 10 minutes. They have cooled. They're still very warm. They're very warm, but they have cooled. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the camera up here closer, and then I'm going to slice them. I'm going to have you guys watch how I do it. So, I'm going to put them right here. I'll put them right here, and then I'm going to slice them up. Okay. Okay, y'all, I got it real close. And I'm hoping that you guys can see how I sliced into it and how I used that fork. I'm hoping maybe you guys can see it now better than you did earlier. So, can you, if you can see the little fork marks and where I cut the lines across and up and down it. So, and then I put little fork fork marks all in it and it's just not really showing you can kind of see a little bit kind of well anyway so I'm gonna have you guys where well, y'all can see me slice it up Pan's a little bit hot. So I'm going to cut it where I had cut it before. And it is, I think it's a good thing that I did cut it all the way through. These are supposed to be cookies, not cookie bars. I don't know how people feel the difference of it, but either way, they're good little cookies. Just little square cookies. You do need to cut these while they are warm, okay? Right after that 10 minute cool down. Because if you don't, these are gonna get hard. <laughs> You're gonna have one big cookie. So, it's good that we cut them earlier. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, definitely cut, cut them while they're warm like this. I didn't cut it straight, but anyway, <laughs> that's okay. Alright, so, see if I can get them out and you guys kind of see. little bit crumbly, soft, it's cooked, it's cooked, the bottom of it, yeah, see the bottom of the edge, see the bottom of the edge one, it's got that edge just a little bit darker, your inside is white, well not white white, but I like an off white, Right, wonderful. Let me get a platter. shortbread cookies. Oh yeah. Oh, 
on. These turned out really good. I'm very happy. Very good. I don't think I cut that one. <laughs> I gotta cut that one a little bit better before I get it out. Perfect little cookies. Perfect little cookies. I don't have room for them all. <laughs> I don't have room for them all right here. I don't think. Maybe. Maybe, maybe no. There we go. Yay! Look at my cookies. Yay! Let's see what y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can see it. Okay. So, we have our beautiful little cookies. Wonderful! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm very happy, very pleased. <laughs> oh, you guys, they turned out so nice and so pretty. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> I am very pleased. I am very pleased. They're so pretty and they're so, they're like, they're, they're like delicate little cookies. They are just, they're wonderful. This is old fashioned recipe, y'all. All of my old recipes are so good. They are just priceless. They're priceless. And I really do like sharing them with y'all. And I hope that y'all try them. I know you will. These are going to be great. Oh, they're so cool. I'm so proud of them. Love them. Love them. <laughs> okay, one moment. Uh, our Father in Heaven, I thank you for giving me the talents to bake and to make good foods and good treats and all kinds of good stuff. Father, thank you. Thank you. Father, I pray that you bless this and help it to nourish my body. I pray, Father, that you be with all of our friends and family and be with my viewers and protect us and guide us. Be with us. Help us to stand in your will for our lives. Help us to be the kind of people you want us to be. Thank you for your son. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Yay. I'm going to try one. <laughs> and they, they are just, they're like, They're crunchy, but they're soft. And when I say crunchy, I mean a, an easy crunchy, not hard crunchy. It's um, it's a, like a melt in your mouth crunchy. Mm. Can be a little messy. It's got the buttery, good buttery taste in it. It's, um, these are a little bit thicker. You could make them, if you baked them less, for less time, you could bake them in a bigger pan, like the, um, 
9 by 13, 11 by 13, 9 by 13 or 11 by 13. It's the biggest casserole dish. You could do it in that pan. They'd be thinner. And then you'd have to probably bake them for about 25 minutes. You could try that. I like them this thick way. And I think they'd be good the thin way too. Uh, they'd probably be a little harder. Harder. I might try to do that for y'all. I'll let you know, make some of them. Because they're so easy to make. I've always made them like this. And they're always perfect. They're, they're just, they're a perfect little snack. Mmm. And, for you people that don't like things that are too sweet, this is great. It's not sweet. I mean, it has, it has just enough sweetness that it's a cookie, cookie bar, whatever you might want to call it, but they're called cookies, but shortbread cookie, cookie bar. <laughs> um, you could cut them different ways. You could, you could put them in the pan, do, do them different way, differently. Um, like I say, this is the old-fashioned way. So this is the way that it used to be made. And I wanted to make it just like was made in old, olden days. So that's why I made it this way. And, and it's good this way. You really don't need to change it. This is good. Um, my pan is a 7.5, maybe 8 by 11. That's what size that pan is. And it baked almost. I mean, I baked it for 35 minutes, wondering if that was a minute or two too much, but it was perfect. Perfect. 350, 35 minutes. My pan is about 8.5, I mean, uh, 8, 8 by 11. And um, it's 8 by 11. Seven and a half by eleven, something like that. So I saw it's almost eight by eleven. <laughs> but yours can turn out exactly like this, exactly. Just follow what I did. Do it in the oven the same way. Don't forget to cut them, which they call scoring them. Cut them. Cut them all the way through. Okay. And then remember to take a fork and stab at them. Now, I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys can see the little fork marks all over it where I stabbed it with the fork mark. With the fork. <laughs> mm. It's really not messy. I keep thinking it's going to kind of crumple down on me. Not too much. It's kind of stabbed wet. But it's not hard. It's... <laughs> it's a shortbread cookie. It is good. Mmm. That is nice. It's like a real smooth taste that's not real sweet. And yet it's just sweet enough. And then the cookie. We really say it's crunchy, but it's not like no cookie bar. It's not like no cake. It's wonderful. This is this is amazingly wonderful. Mm. Mm. That's a nice treat at night or in the morning with a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> I love my coffee in the morning now. I got to have a cup of coffee. <laughs> And something like this, this is this is go really good with it. Mm-hmm. Mm. You guys are gonna like that. You're gonna like that. I don't know how to show you any different because it's the same as looking at these. I mean just lightly brown on the bottom, even lighter on the top. And they even lighter inside. <laughs> so they're just, they're wonderful. They're just, they're so good. 
wonderful, wonderful little treat. Yeah, people would be surprised when you serve this. They will be surprised with the taste and how good it is. Without being sweet or like a regular cookie. This is a treat. This is a wonderful treat. Yeah, if you serve this at a little get-together or a little party, this is different. It's very nice. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> a little crunchy, messy, sometimes. Mmm. <laughs> It's more like a little shortbread cake, I guess, but it's not cake. Shortbread bar. I guess I'll call them a shortbread cookie bar. I'll do that. Shortbread cookie bar. They're really good. They are so good. Old-fashioned shortbread cookie bar. That's what I'm saying. Cookie bar. Because <laughs> they really don't quite look like a regular cookie. Shortbread squares. Mm. But it, it is an old-fashioned recipe. So, I really hope that you guys like these. I know you will. I hope y'all can see that. I don't know if it's going to be in view. <laughs> I like these. See, y'all are going to like these. I hope I'm in the camera, right? But I hope y'all try these. I really do. I know y'all are going to like them. I know y'all are going to like them. They're wonderful. Yeah. I love old-fashioned recipes. And I'm trying to share several of them with y'all. Because uh, uh, they're just that good. They're that good. Um, I think that old-fashioned old -fashioned recipes, I can say they're priceless. They... Anybody that has them, you need to keep track of them. Don't lose them. Don't let them disappear. They're really special. So, yeah, if y'all try this recipe, if y'all like it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Give me a comment me. Um, tell me how yours turned out. Just let me know you tried it. Yay! I know you're going to love it. I know you're going to love it. Check out some of my other recipes. I'm putting out something new all the time. Uh, main dishes, side dishes, desserts, spreads, pies, cakes, everything you can think of. I'm getting them out there fast as I can. And I really do appreciate y'all watching. And especially watching my, my uh, videos all the way through. Because some of them I know are long. I do that most of the time in real time in order to teach y'all. I, I want to make sure I tell y'all everything and I don't miss anything. And, um, and a lot of you I know like to follow right along with me. Just watch the video, turn around, watch it again, and then you can cook right with me. Or, you know, and stop it as you need to. So, but I really hope that y'all like my style and the way that I cook things. And, um... I hope I give y'all some good information uh, in my videos that help y'all out with things. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. And uh, give me a thumbs up, comment me, and subscribe to my channel. It really, really will help me so much. And I really appreciate it. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah. Okay, thank you so very, very much. Thank you. And as always, bye.